Now for the last thing that we're going to do, and that is, of course, we want to be able to export and post these. Now, it's really fantastic what this does. Okay, now I'm going I'm to save this. I have a folder. Okay. And now, really, all I have to do to save this and get the files is click on this export button, and SoundSlide is going to do all of the work for me. It's going to produce this fantastic little folder here. And if we look, uh, this, no, uh, this is the folder we started with, this test project file. Now, inside of that, we have all of the file, files that we need to work on that SoundSlide's project, and then we also have this folder called Publish to Web. That's the folder that contains everything that we need to publish. Typically, we'd actually rename this something like uh, Photo Walk Slideshow. And then we could actually take that folder and copy it and post it. And of course, inside of this, this is all self-contained. We have two different versions of the audio. We have three different versions of the photos, so we can uh, have bigger and larger files. Uh, we have an XML file. We have a SWIFT. This is uh, actually SoundSlides produced, produces uh, Adobe Flash files, essentially. And then, of course, if we just double-click on the index, that's actually what we would use um, to as the link when we uh, link to this. And there's our file. And that's really all there is to it. Now, of course, um, I'm actually going to ask you guys just to upload your SoundSlides projects uh, to share with each other and so that I can look at them. Uh, if you don't have the ability to upload files, you know, that's fine. I understand that. If you can get access and do that, fantastic. Let me know. Let your classmates know so hopefully they can do that as well.